tips. In the beginning of the Madden 25 season, I ended up putting out a video talking about the top five defensive tips to improve overnight in Madden 25. And in today's video, it's going to be similar to that, but it's a little bit different. And uh, there's because we've learned a couple things since then, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the top five defensive tips to over to make your defense better. This isn't going to jump you up. You're not going to just you know you're not going to go from winning five games to winning you know 10 out of 10 but this will certainly make your defense better and if you build off the video we did earlier which you can find it it's it's on my channel archive um, then it will certainly make you better overall so just add these five tips he's actually really good and uh, some people may know how to do these already uh, but I think they're important so let's see I got my handy dandy clipboard here to break it down okay so what we're gonna look at we're gonna show you this out of the 4-4 and 4-4 is what I've been running this year um, first thing I want to note is Plays like single back doubles, uh, or, or shotgun doubles, rather, uh, they have two wide receivers, or three wide receivers, a tight end, and a running back. So the tight ends don't get pressed. Um, so, like, for example, here, I'm going to call two man under, and you're going to see my dude, I'm a man Lee up. So watch the watch both the receiver on the right. Maybe. Let's see if I got him here. All right, let me see if I can. How do I do that? Oh, oh there we go. Okay, a little technical difficulty. All right, so take a look at watch Decker and watch Thomas at the same time. You're going to notice exactly what I mean. Thomas gets a free release, whereas Decker gets pressed. Okay, so that's important for us to note that now we know that. So what I want to show you today is how to press tight ends or how to use or press in Man 25. You have guys throwing certain routes. Like for me, I like to throw uh, a route from the Giants playbook out of the Giants slot trail. I like to motion the receiver in. Um, this is going to show you how to press... Um, how to press tight ends manually, or rather routes that won't get that will get free. So one way we can do this is so here I'm going to show you. For example, we're going to have Thomas on a drag, and you're going to see two man under. I'm going to audible to it, and they're going to line up over him. And I'll even call press coverage. I mean, it's it's press. I just call press, and they're not going to press the drag routes. You see, it's going to get a free release. Okay, that's important for us to note. And now let's figure out how we can do it. Now there's two ways you can do this. First way is um, not my favorite, uh, I'll be honest, but what we'll do is we'll call a zone coverage here. And what we're going to do is, Thomas is going to be on a drag. We're just going to take Lee, put him over Thomas, and put him in a flat route. Now, that's going to bump him at the line of scrimmage. You see, wow, I guess it, I guess it doesn't. I thought it did. Um, it, may, it may have to be a step inside or two. Let's take a look at that one more time. So here, let's see here. We get Lee, flat zone, over Thomas. And there you see he kind of well he kind of starts to I don't know just to say he does uh, situation where uh, we'll show you here tight end I know it works for my tight end Let's see if I got a doubles there's a doubles and let's put your boy Julius Thomas on a streak and we're gonna put a couple flats here and you see he's gonna get a, a free release so. Against routes like this or against formations like this, this is what you can do. Is yes, you can put a flat over there, but it doesn't always get them, as you noted. Um, if I were to put, and this is just going to prove my point, so if I put Welker on a streak, and then I put the flat out there, and Carter's flat, now you see the press. You see the press there? He started to press him. So it works but it doesn't it works on some routes works on other routes it doesn't work just depending on formation but this uh, second one it doesn't matter what formation what route what zone whatever so here Thomas is on a drag I'm gonna take Lee over here I'm gonna hold R1 or RB on Xbox 360 and at the snap of the ball you see wow it's I, I did not I wasn't able to do it there he's gonna get bumped he's supposed to get bumped here let's see if I can get it Sometimes you have to man him up, maybe man him up here, and let's put Thomas on a anything, it doesn't matter. There you see, there's the press, and now you bump him, he gets off his route, and it's it messes with the timing. So, for example, out of the 4-4, this is what I really like to do with it. Say we're on the left hash, which we talked about last video, blitzing from the hashes, earlier on in the season. Uh, we're go So we're going to set up our blitz here off the left hash. We got that set up, and then we're going to man up car on Thomas, make him in a little bit, and then we're going to say, okay, down to lock up this other side, we're going to go zone, so we're going to take Hollum and put him in the deep, we're going to put Heath in the uh, purple zone here, 
and then we're going to take Lee, and we're going to lock up Thomas. We're going to say you're not going to be able to throw to 88, uh, Manning's, one of Manning's favorite receivers, by hitting by holding R1 or RB. And I like to hold L2, um, just 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 cause it's going to lock him on here, and you're going to just sit there, snap the ball comes, he presses, and then you're free to make other plays. So that is how to use a press. I think it's one of the most effective tactics in the game. All right, now we're going to take a look at another, another tactic, which is base on line and press. So you see here, um, I'm actually going to come out of the 4-4 to show this example because it's not the same. It's, it works from 4-4, but it, it's a better shown example from a 43. Uh, so let's take a, take a look at a 4-3 stack here. I'm going to come out and cover 4. And as you guys noted, if you guys watched some of my beginner tips videos, you'll note that I went over how to read the defensive coverages, or cover 4, cover 3, cover 0, that kind of stuff. Well, here, we're going to show you how to eliminate that option from your opponent's arsenal. So, um... Again, this looks like cover four. You got two high safeties, and the cornerbacks are off. And then we'll go to cover two, and you're going to see that it's going to sh now they're going to press, but still too high. Two men under, so you have two high. So they can kind of note what you're doing based off of your look here. Uh, we got cover three cloud, and then I think we even have a regular cover three somewhere. Yeah, we do here. And there's the regular cover three. So you see three high or single high safety versus two high look. It all tells you, it kind of gives you some hints on how to how the defense is going to play. Well, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cycle through, and you're going to have to guess what I'm going to end. So I'm going to baseline and press by hitting triangle, and then right on the, right dire or on the left directional pad. And then I'm going to hit triangle, and I'm going to hit down on the left directional pad, and they're going to press. If you're on Xbox, triangle is obviously Y. And now you see it's too high. And it's two down, so it looks just like two men under, but now we're in cover three. And then we could also cycle, we could be in two men under. They don't know. And it all stems from baseline and pressing. So this is just an important tactic to note. A lot of people already know about this, but I think it's one of the most important tips in the game. So be sure to note that. Uh, next thing I want to look at is the double baseline. Actually, we'll save that for last. Um... I want to talk about fake blitzing. So number three, we'll talk about fake blitzing. Uh, for, for formations like the, if we were to say set a blitz up on the 4-3 on the, um, over plus, and how do you fake blitz? Well, what you want to do is, so here we're going to set this up. We're going to set pressure off the right edge. So we're going to base a line. We're going to use the base a line and press technique. We're going to um, re-blitz Sean Lee here. We're going to put Ratliff in any zone we want. And then we're going to take Wilcox. We're going to blitz him straight down over the guard, but we're then going to back him up. So right about on line here. And we're just going to hold L2 at the snap of the ball. And you see the, the linemen are going to pick him up, and then you're free to make user plays. Now this works a little bit better, in my opinion, uh, if you spread the defensive line and crash them out. So then re-blitz both these guys, and then what you can do off of this is put maybe wear in a zone. And you could use contain or blitz now, so just up to you. And again, just hold L2 to snap the ball. And here, you're going to be free to make user plays, and the pressure's still going to come in off the right edge. Now, one thing a lot of people like to do with this is, is allow them to get uh, single-edge pressure. So what they'll do is they'll manually uh, click on to wear here. They'll hold L2 at the snap at the ball. And just sit there, hold, and then drop out. By the time the pressure comes in, there's no not enough time for a quarterback to get rid of the ball. And you can do this. Um, you can do this on a blit on a blitz. You want to hold L2 if, if he's blitzing. So here, where would be blitzing? But if on a spy like I just showed, um, you want to hold R2. So here we're going to hold R2, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that the pressure is going to come in off that right edge. All right. So that's the fake. That's kind of the basic theory of the fake blitz. Um, another thing you can do from the over plus that we like to do, a lot of people do anyway, uh, is the A-gap where you shift them like this, and you're just going to fake blitz. You're going to fake blitz with your boy, um, where's he at? This linebacker here. You're going to fake blitz him over the guard. So here, hold over the guard, L2, and then there you see the A-gap come in from Ernie Sims. So these are all basic theories, how to use fake blitz. Uh, basically what fake blitz is, is, so for example here, I'm going to send, I'm going to send six guys, I'm going to set these linebackers out, and I'm just going to put Sims over to the tackle here, and I'm going to hold L2 and R2 at the snap of the ball, 
and he's just going to sit there. The center engages him, and then I can drop out, and that's going to be an easy way to get pressure. So just note that that's an option. Next, okay, so that takes care of the fake blitz L2, R2, or L2, or R2, however you want to go about doing that. I think L2, R2 works best. Now I want to look at the, um, the, uh, this, the double base align um, feature. So this works great out of 4-4 four, four, or any formation that has 4 or 5 linebackers. Not 1-5-5 five, five, psycho works really good out of. What we want to do is, it doesn't matter what play, you can come in whatever you want. I like personally do this out of 2 deep. And what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to uh, base a line here and press coverage. We're going to use all that technique. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit R1 or RB on Xbox 360. Flick the right analog stick down to blitz all the linebackers. Then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to flick the right analog stick up to put them all in yellow zones. All right. Then what we want to do is we want to base a line twice and watch. You see these yellow zones are now balanced. They're going to flow to the outsides of the field. And this is... Uh, this is just a really good concept and then we can of course press coverage again now and so with our user control in the middle this is in theory just a really phenomenal coverage defense uh, gets really a uh, good job against corner routes and out routes so that's how you double base align let me go over that one more time um, you're just going to base align at the start of the play globally blitz the linebackers straight down globally zone the linebackers and then you're going to base align twice and then I like to pass commit and uh, use the safety in the middle and you see the zones just play really exotic. And, uh, you know, you got those really good hook zones make a play for me. So that takes care of the double baseline. And lastly, I want to talk about disguise cushion coverage. One of the things that not a whole lot of people know um, is that the disguise cushion coverage is one of the best coverages in the game. And, and let's take a look at why. Um, first off, for obvious reasons, it's, uh, if I'm in two-man under, out of this out of this play cover two man this is the two man under version and I'm gonna baseline press and now you're gonna see if I put maybe if I was blitzing the linebacker on the right and I put Decker on a streak as soon as he beats the press there's nobody over the top to to catch him but how do I still use man coverage and a press look that's where disguise cushion comes in you use disguise cushion by uh, pressing of course so cover two man we're gonna baseline and press okay and then we're gonna hit triangle and then we're going to hit triangle one more time for disguise cushion. And now you're going to see if they try to just lob a streak up to Decker. Now your guy's in a position. You click on. You hold LB. Trying to make a tackle on the ball. Whatever you need to do. So that is why it's good for man. But it's also good for zone. If we globally blitz the same technique that we just talked about. Um, baseline, baseline, press. Use those yellow zones. And now we're going to call disguise cushions. Watch how deep this yellow zone these yellow zones play so pay man drops back you see how deep they get they get out on corner routes now like they're in position to stop corner routes they're also in position to stop uh four verticals so let me look at four verticals here we have that in our audibles um i'm gonna do the same technique globally blitz the linebackers globally zone the linebackers baseline twice press coverage disguise cushion coverage and then um, you're going to use her Heath, but for this example, we're going to not use her Heath. And now watch. I'm going to throw this post route to Thomas. They're going to get back on that post route. And you see, now I'm throwing it to Thomas, and now my safety is in a good position. I like to use this disguise cushion te technique on third and long, and I'll send heavy pressure. So this is my third and long play. I base the line, I press. I crash my D-line out. I reboots both linebackers. And then I'll put both corners on the outside in hook zones. I'll base align twice, press coverage again, and I'll call the disguise cushion. And now look at what we have. Now we have this look, and I'll use her, the safety. So if they try to throw out routes on this, which a lot of people like to do on, on that situation, you're going to see these yellows are going to just pick off those out routes. And th it's just like, do not throw the out routes on me. Um, I'm going to make interceptions. So where else are they going to go in a third and two situation? What are they going to do? they got to throw a post into our user player? I don't think so. they got to throw a corner route? Well, let's take a look at what happens to, to Thomas here. Let's let's run the play back. Let's see if we can stop that as well. I haven't actually tested this out. Let's see if it... Let's see if they get deep enough. All right, so here we go. We're going to throw it blind to Thomas. Cuts to the outside. 
And look, he doesn't even, didn't even have time to go there, but you saw the, the guys were out there. It just The disguise cushion coverage makes the players get deeper, and it's just very important to have that in your arsenal. I call disguise cushion almost every single down. I love playing a bit, but don't break style of defense this year. So, guys, that wraps up our top five defensive tips. And then lastly, I wanted to give you guys um, a bonus defensive tip, and this comes from the play uh, any blitz audible any cover zero blitz any cover zero blitz you could have so this example we'll show you we'll go ahead and grab one so say that he's in like a spread uh, defense or spread offense here let's see if I can find a spread I think they have one Cowboys nope do we have a we'll just show you out of this normal flex and I'm gonna come out in a 4-3 stack outside linebacker uh, I'm just gonna come out in a basic man pressure blitz so outside linebacker fire man. And now you're going to see if I base the line and press, now they're not in a great position. You see they're off coverage. I want to play press coverage, and I want to send heavy pressure at my opponent. Well, what we can do is we can hit triangle, and we're going to hit R1 to man line, and you see they're going to go over, right over directly over their guys. And now it's a lot harder to, to beat them off the snap of the ball. You see he's in position now to stop those snap throw streaks. Now what we can also do with this is make a max coverage defense. That's what I personally like to do. So watch what we do here. We're going to baseline, we're going to press, we're going to man align. Now this is going to show the, the, the offense we're in a cover zero man coverage look. But now watch what we're going to do. We're going to put both of these uh, guys here in deep blues. We're going to globally zone the linebackers. Baseline twice, man align again. And then we're going to purple these guys on the outside. Now we're in a maximum coverage defense. Man on the outside, too deep. And it's just like, now he's confused. He's like, I thought they were in a cover zero. Just lobs one up, and the pressure gets there. So, you see, these are the things that you want to do in Madden 25 to stop your opponent. Um, I love all of these tips. Guys, I think that they're really good, and I think that they can really help you guys uh, improve your game in Madden 25. So, be sure to stay tuned next week where we're going to talk about our latest top five defensive tactics, how we actually like to use these tips in-game uh, to shut down some of the better offenses that we face. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys think this video deserves a share, go ahead and share it on Twitter or a like rating would always help me out. And for those of you who need further explanation, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.